Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Science with Mr. Duong. In this episode, I've partnered up with Osmonds Racing and Sydney Performance Pass to show you the differences between a regular blow-off valve and a GFB fully adjustable blow-off valve. Let's do it. My car goes psh, psh. Here's the stock diverter valve, it's made of plastic. If you have a look inside, the plunger is really small. Only that small piece of metal there actually lets air through. But if you have a look at the GFB blow off valve, that plunger that moves is much bigger. That whole gold area there, that gold metal piece, that is a much larger aperture allowing for more air to go through, either being vented or recirculated. And this is where GFB claims that with this product, air gets recirculated much faster and much more air gets recirculated than the stock diverter valve. So here is my cool diagram. As you can see, I am clearly an artiste. Here I have my boxer engine and here I have the intake. When I'm on the gas, the throttle body over here, which I didn't draw, the valve opens and that sucks the air into the engine. The air will, will come through the intake and if you've got a cold air intake like mine, it'll sound really cool. It'll sound like a whoosh kind of sound. All right, so the air will come through. It'll go to the turbo inlet and it'll come through the turbo up the charge pipe to the intercooler where it gets cooled and into the engine for combustion. And when you're off the throttle, the throttle valve closes and the air has to come back this way. And when the air comes back, if we don't have a valve here, either that be a diverter valve or a roll valve, it goes back to the turbo and it gives you this so -to 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 sound, right? And we really don't want that because the turbo is spinning in one direction. And if something is spinning in one direction and air comes back to hit it from the opposite end, it might slow down the speed of the turbo or it might spin it the other way. Now over time this does some nasty things to your turbo. Now if you have a full recirculating diverter valve the air will come through here it will go to the diverter valve and the air will get fully recirculated to the turbo inlet. When the air gets recirculated the next time you're on the gas there's some air ready to be sucked through the turbo and sent to the engine. Now when you have a blow off valve, and in my case a fully adjustable blow off valve, you can adjust the amount or the aperture, you can adjust the aperture on the venting side. So air will come through here, it will split off through venting to atmosphere, giving you the sound, or it will get recirculated. All right. Again, if you want to have full venting, you just block off this port here, you block it off and then when the air comes back it will just it only has one exit it will just go that way and give you a very loud <laughs> installing a blow valve is really the simplest mod you can do to your car if you haven't seen my first blow valve video i'll leave the link in the description where i go through this process in more detail Alright, so this here is a hybrid GFB blow valve that I first installed a few weeks ago. This is adjustable to some extent at this current setup when air comes back and pushes the plunger, half the air goes through there, venting to the atmosphere, and the other half goes back to the intake being recirculated. Now when you want to adjust this, all right, it's pretty annoying because you have to go under the car. And to make this fully recirculating, you gotta take off the trumpet and you gotta use the plug. 
and screw that on. And that blocks this port where it's venting to atmosphere and all the air gets recirculated. Now, if you want to do the opposite and make it full venting, it's a bit of a pain to ask because you've got to get underneath the car, take off all the covers. Right, you've got to undo this one here and you've got to plug this port underneath. And when after you've plugged this up, you've also got to plug the hose that goes up to this port. And now when the air comes back, when you're off the throttle, it pushes the plunger in here and the air gets fully 100% vented to the atmosphere. And here's the GFB response provided by channel sponsor Osmonds Racing and Sydney Performance Parts. It's really cool. You might notice that it looks really similar, but the best thing about it is if you look through this hole here, it is fully adjustable. Right. Inside, there's a plunger. And here you can see, as a, with my thumb in it, I'm going to push the plunger up. And you can see that the plunger moves up and the air comes out. Pretty cool stuff. And the best thing about this is that you can twist this knob here and it changes the rate of venting or recirculation. Pretty cool stuff. One thing I also didn't talk about in the previous video is the spring load here. Okay, so there is a spring here and you can adjust how hard or how loose the spring is. The harder or the more tension you apply to the string, the more boost is needed for the plunger to go up and to vent it to atmosphere. For, so for me, I don't want to be too obnoxious, so I'm going to set this to be pretty tight, um, pretty hard. You want to have a lot of tension on the spring so that it doesn't vent to the atmosphere unless I'm pushing the car. The best way to do this is on the car when the car is running because if you don't add enough tension when you're off the gas, the plunger could be open and release too much air to the point where you may stall your engine. And this is easily accessible and adjustable even when it's on the car and I'll show you that in just a bit. Reinstalling the turbo inlet with the new blower valve is really simple. It's literally the reverse process of removing the bypass or blower valve. Again, the link to my first blower valve video will be in the description box. what it sounds like in full bank sound mode, full venting. That's dirty, that's too dirty, no way. I'm not driving on that. <laughs> it's too dirty. So to adjust the blower valve when it's in the car, for my car specifically anyway, first you've got to remove the air duct. And it's probably hard to see, but here is the blower valve. That's the trumpet. All right, for most cars, it's a lot easier than this one. But here, you just got to reach your arm down and twist the knob for your venting bias. Definitely hard to see on the camera. And if you want to adjust your spring preload, Allen key. Reach down and twist the preload. Right, I recommend doing this when the car is off. For this car, because it gets pretty hot. And that's it. Your car goes boo boo ba. Your car goes brap brap brap. Your car goes ting ting ting. My car goes psh psh. So 
much for staying to this point of the video if you're still here. Now for a limited time, Sydney Performance Parts are doing 10% off for Science with Mr. Doom subscribers and viewers. All you need to do at the checkout is type in Doom 10 you get 10% off the listed price on both their eBay store and on their online store. If you like what you've seen, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one.